what Ayn Rand thought philosophy was. Okay, and the way she looked at it, she said it's just a bunch of recommendations. And you got these notions, a guide for a living course we take in life, how do we treat, how we treat other people, that sort of thing. Uh, according to Ayn Rand, uh, it also includes ontology, metaphysics, uh, essentially uh, the science of existence, which uh, we're saying that's physics, that's got nothing to do with philosophy. And uh, she thinks it's a jack of all trades that covers, you know, it covers every base. Uh, what she called the soil, which makes the forest possible. Before you can do any discipline, for example, if you want to do physics, if you want to do biology, if you want to do, I don't know, even history, right? You need to start at philosophy, she says. In other words, this is the notion that she has and a lot of people have out there. That you start at philosophy, you have to have a brain, you have to have awareness, you have to have observation. See, touch, smell, taste, hear. And, and the question is whether that makes any sense, because then what, what is philosophy if, if it's everything? Okay? So we need to define this word philosophy before we can use it in a sentence. If we're going to have a rational discussion, a rational debate, uh, an exchange of ideas. Otherwise, you know, if philosophy mean, if you're just going to introduce the word philosophy every time you, you just want to make a point and you never defined it, then we don't know what you're talking about. You know, you, you, it's a worthless word then. Uh, and then, uh, yeah, because of that, they developed all these irrelevant uh, subjects and branches that have nothing to do with philosophy, which are just opinions, in other words, known as religion. And we have politics, justice, ethics, aesthetics, epistemology, which is about knowledge. And so what do we say that uh, philosophy is in the alternative? Well, we have uh, science is rational explanations, and philosophy is one of the two sciences, the two major branches of science, whereas physics deals with rational explanations of mechanisms. Philosophy deals with uh, rational explanations of behaviors. Now we can use you know, these, uh, these notions in a consistent manner. Now we know what we're talking about, okay? Why do we use that? Well, because we're trying to establish the foundations of physics. That's why we had to divide it this way. We had to redefine what science is because no one defined science in a rational manner. No one defined physics in a rational manner or philosophy in a rational manner. No one can use these words consistently, rationally, in a discussion, in a debate. We don't know what they're talking about when they say physics because these people say physics is math. Physics is math, measurement, calculation. You just measure something, give me one meter, and that's, you did physics, you did science. And so we got a problem. We got a problem because none of these words were defined. We had to establish the foundations of physics for the first time in history. So all those notions that we've had for the last 2,500 years, primarily in the last 400 years, at least since the 17th century so-called scientific revolution, right? We had to redefine what physics is because they lost their way. The reason we have all these irrational interpretations of Big Bang, of space-time, of black holes out there in, in space uh, in, in, on a cosmic uh, level is that we never define physics. These people are just talking nonsense at this point, okay? None of it makes any sense anymore. And, uh, you know, a lot of those who are rational folk, <laughs> uh, they... They're, they're, you know, they, they realize there's something is wrong, that we're not getting the information we want. We, we, don't, we don't know how the Mother Nature runs her invisible shop, how she runs gravity, how she runs uh, magnetism. She doesn't know. We don't know this. You know, people want to understand how, how, how this universe works. And these people say that's philosophy. And the philosophers say, no, uh, ours is the, uh, what is it, the soil on which the trees uh, <laughs> grow, etc. And You know, I mean. What do we have? We have nothing. That's what we have. We have no understanding of how the universe works. Okay, uh, so let me uh, just put it up here, a, a comment that someone made with respect to this, okay? It goes something like this. Many philosophers would say that, uh, philosophers, quotations, again, we need to define philosophy to find out who is a philosopher, okay? And they haven't done that, so that word can't be used to begin with, but Let's concede, let's concede, let's continue, would say that the distinction between science, physics, and uh, on the one hand, and philosophy on the other, is that the former answers empirical questions, whereas philosophy answers analytic or a priori uh, questions. 
For example, it's an empirical question when if we can practically make machines with general artificial intelligence uh, that's answered by computer science. No, it's answered by technology. Again, it's people who confuse science with technology, and I like to beat them up constantly. You don't confuse technology with science. Technology we develop by trial and error. We have no use for science in technology, and we have no use of techn for technology in science. They have nothing to do with each other. You know, a refrigerator has nothing to do with science. And you say, well, how did we develop the, the refrigerator? Well, we developed by trial and error. We did one thing, another thing, we finally got it right. Does that mean that the guy who invented the refrigerator or the TV or the computer or the cell phone, do they know what a magnetic field is? Do they know how gravity works? They don't need to. They just did something and say it worked and now they sold it. That's, that's technology, okay? They, you develop it. You, it, it's a, that's why they go into these uh, parts of the companies, uh, manufacturing companies, uh, known as research and development. It's not called science because they don't use science. They use research and development. They just try one thing after another in the lab. They test. And they have some notions already of how electricity works, how magnetism works, and they just apply it. That's it. They don't have to know what an electric current really is. They don't have to know what magnetism really is. They just need to know what it does. That's why science and technology are unrelated totally. Science has to do with, knowing, with understanding how Mother Nature runs her shop especially her invisible shop. We know all the visible stuff. What we don't know is the invisible stuff, okay? Uh, and then uh, continues. Prior to that, though, there is a question of what intelligence really means. Well, then you define it. Again, nothing to do with, with philosophy. Definitions are not a, uh, a funk, a, um, uh, what is it? Um, you know, they don't belong specifically to philosophy. Uh, quite the opposite. Uh, they belong at a higher level. They, they belong to science. Science is the one that, uh, the scientific method, in fact, maybe I should put that up there so that we can uh, see what I'm talking about here. Here's the rational scientific method, okay? And now you can see where uh, uh, definitions belong. They belong in the first step of the scientific method. That precedes both physics and philosophy. Y uh, definitions don't belong to philosophy. They belong to the rational scientific method. If you're going to explain your theory to someone, you better start with definitions. That's not an issue of philosophy. That's an issue that pertains, at the again, at the more basic or fundamental level, which is at science. First, you have to know what science means, okay? And if uh, philosophy is a branch of science, it must follow the rational scientific method. Um, so anyways, you know, the, the issue that, um, that, you know, that philosophy underlies all of science, that's nonsense. It's not philosophy. That's the rational scientific method, or call it the scientific method, that you have to... Uh, put in before you do science. That's got nothing to do with philosophy. That, uh, if, if philosophy is an opinion or, or, or whatever philosophy means to you, you got to define the term before you can use the term philosophy. And again, it's right now people have no idea what the word philosophy means. That's why we had to define it. And philosophy only deals with behaviors, explaining a behavior. That's, that's philosophy. But to say that philosophy is everything, uh, existence and justice and ethics and, and also aesthetics, you know, that's nonsense. That's, that's no definition at all. We can't use that in any old way. Okay.